So welcome to another video of anatomy and physiology. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be highlighting the muscles of facial expression. Okay, so the muscles of the head uh, can be divided into two main divisions. You have the muscles of mastication, which I do have a video uh, on those muscles, which you can uh, view right here. And, and then you have the muscles of facial expression. Okay, muscles of facial expression are innervated by cranial nerve number seven, which I also have a video on, and you can view right there. Okay. Um, I've divided this, these muscles because there's so many of them into seven sections. I don't get to discuss every single one of them because there's so many, but I do take care of quite a bit of them here in this video. Um, so with the first section, I want to discuss first the uh, most superior muscle um, in, of, of these. Uh, and this one's called your occipital frontalis. Okay, occipital frontalis. Occipital because you have an occipital belly of that muscle on the occipital region of the skull, of course. In fact, let me go ahead and hide this for you so you can see it. So here's your occipital, uh, the plates of your skull, and then your occipital belly lies right, right superior to that. Okay, and then you have what's called aponeurisis, uh, which is a connective tissue that connects or makes this muscle continuous with the, um, with the uh, frontal belly of this muscle, which again lies on the uh, frontal, um, frontal skull plate. Okay, so occipital frontalis. So when you have a surprised look, uh, you know, when someone surprises you or you lift your eyebrows up, uh, this is the muscle that is responsible for that. Okay, elevates the eyebrows. So secondly, I want to take a look at, I want to take a look at your uh, orbital region. Okay, so this is your um, orbicularis oculi which has uh, three, three layers to it, okay? So uh, the part that's responsible for pinching your eyes shut, okay? And you can close them when you close them with force. Um, that's the orbital region, orbital region which, uh, which I have highlighted right here. And then you also have what's called your, um, and this is kind of a long name, uh, but you might remember this if you've seen the video of uh, when, when I discussed the muscles that uh, are innervated by, um, by the facial nerve, you have your levator palpebrae superioris. Okay, uh, this muscle is responsible for opening and shutting your uh, your eyelids. Okay, so when you blink, blink really quick. Uh, this is a muscle that is responsible for that. Uh, then you also have your um, you have your lacrimal uh, layer, which is responsible for the lacrimal gland squeezing out uh, those tears. Okay, so that's your orbital. So just to rehash, you have your uh, occipital frontalis and your uh, orbicularis oris. So uh, when you frown, okay, I don't know if you want to go ahead and just frown right now so you can get a feel for it. Uh, those are the muscles that I'm going to discuss next. Now to get a good view of all of those muscles, I'm going to hide part of this occipital frontalis right there. And you can see right there in the background, uh, that little muscle right there. In fact, let me hide this one right here. Your, this is your depressor supercilii. Okay, so when you're frowning, again, uh, three three main muscles for frowning. Your uh, depressor supercilii. Okay, now let me hide that. And then just inferior to that, you have your corrugator supercilii. So your uh, depressor supercilii, your corrugator supercilii, and then also your procerus. Okay, so these muscles, these three muscles, are responsible for that frown. Okay, so they pull on the skin on the on the uh, crown of the forehead. They pull it down and medial. Okay, so if you smell something bad, also you might get that wrinkle in the nose. Uh, and these are the muscles that are responsible for that. All right. Well, from frowning to now, let's take a look at your smiling muscles. Okay. So there are four muscles that we're going to uh, take a look at first. So naming these muscles that are responsible for your smile, uh, we're going to go from uh, our most medial muscle and then work our way laterally. Okay. So again, we're just going to mention four of these of uh, these muscles. There are more. Um, and to get a better view of that, I'm going to hide. I'm going to get rid of our obicularis um, oculi. So. This muscle here is called your levator labii superioris aliqui nasi. Okay, uh, so again, it's attached to your upper lip and it's 
uh, and it goes into uh, or it originates from your uh, your nasal bone or close to your nasal bone in your uh, in your maxilla. Okay. So again, this is your levator labii superior superioris aliqui nasi. So your nasal your uh, your nose. Okay. And then uh, moving lateral to that muscle, we have our levator labii superioris. Okay. So if you're gonna give that little that little smirk that Elvis does, okay, these are the muscles that you're looking at. Okay, so and then just just uh, la lateral to that, we're gonna discuss two muscles that are located or attached to our zygomatic bone, okay, our cheekbone. So here it is, that's your zygomaticus minor. Okay, and then your zygomaticus, just lateral to that, zygomaticus major. Okay, so you have that one. You have that gap. Now, technically, this uh, zygomaticus major and uh, major and minor, uh, these are considered to be one muscle. Okay, um, and they're just split up by this gap that you see right here. All right. So as you can see, there's also other other muscles um, that are just uh, inferior to this, uh, and just coincidentally, this is your uh, levator anguli oris. Okay, so that's lifting up the uh, the side of the lip there for that full smile. So that's your smile muscles. Now let's look at one muscle that uh, uh, is responsible that's uh, responsible for your laughing. Okay, so we see here. Here, let me zoom out a little bit. Just below your zygomaticus major. Okay, you have your resorus muscle. Okay just to make our smile and our laugh more complete. So staying near our mouth, uh, we're going to move medially to our to our our lips basically. Okay? This is our obicularis oris. Just like our obicularis oculi, uh, these are muscles that are in a circular shape, okay? These muscles are responsible for you puckering up. So when you're going to kiss somebody, uh, and you have that famous look of puckering up, uh, you have your obicularis oris to thank for that. Okay, so moving on from our smiling and laughing and puckering up muscles, we're going to take a sadder tone now and we're going to take a look at the muscles that are responsible for our sad face, our, our um, I guess not necessarily frowning per se, I guess it is our frowning uh, look. We're going to look at three muscles, okay? The first one is your depressor anguli oris. Okay, these are the most lateral. And for these muscles, we'll start laterally and move our way um, medially. And then medial to that, we have our depressor labii inferioris. And then if you've ever had your uh, lower lip quiver, you know, I don't know if you, when you see somebody cry or a little kid cry or something, uh, and, that, and their chin starts to quiver, uh, here we have our mentalis. Okay, so these are three muscles that are responsible for for our sad moments. Okay, and that's our frowning, our uh, depressor muscles that pull down on the lip, and this one pulls down on the uh, on the angle of the lip. Okay, that's why it's called a depressor anguli oris. Okay, and much like your levator anguli oris, so this one will give you the smile. This one right here and. Uh, Below that, you'll have the one that give you the frown. So that's our muscles of facial expression. Okay, again, by no means is this a, a complete or exhaustive look at these muscles, but uh, it does give you an introduction to uh, to uh, to the muscles that are responsible for uh, the facial features or expressions that you have. A lot of these muscles, uh, unlike other skeletal muscles, uh, they're not connected to uh, bone but they might be connected to other muscles or they're uh, connected to the skin on the surface by connective tissue. Hence is why they are able to manipulate the skin like they do to give you these expressions. Okay, so good luck in your studying.